No, I'm not a hater. I just got a disagreement. Go ahead. Um, I just didn't. I didn't like the way that. Um, I just felt some type of way about the fact that, like, the civil rights movement made it possible for Beijing's and Sudanese to, you know, become great in this country. And then in the process of that sacrifice, it's like African Americans that getting shitted on by the same people that they sacrificed for them to get here. <laughs> Yo, you're funny, bro. <laughs> Uh, when did we ever make fun of the civil rights movement or anybody that helped now he's trolling. black people achieve equality in the United States? You you trolling right? Are, are you serious, bro? No, I'm not trolling at all. I'm not trolling at all. I just, I mean, the narrative is that, I mean, y'all don't talk about, you you said that black Americans are lazy, that they're soft, that they're pussy and they're bitches, to put it, to, to, to put it in, in verbatim. Uh, well, that is not verbatim because I and never I, said I, I, all I, I, black people I, I, are like that. I just said the black, I said the black community likes to take on the victim mindset a lot of the times as to, you know, civil injustices and use that as an excuse for why they're not where they want to be. Which is true. Okay. You can't, you can't sit there and blame systematic racism and all these other stupid ass social buzzwords for why you're not where you want to be. You can't. When you have people that come into this country that don't even speak a lick of English that end up owning businesses, end up making that money, end up becoming millionaires, etc. And people over here crying about, oh, systematic racism. Oh, my God. No, this is fucked up. I don't, I don't, I don't quit the same opportunities. You got people coming here from China, from Africa, from foreign countries that can't even speak the language. and They figure it out. What's your excuse? That's all I'm saying. But what I am saying is that we can't sit here and cry about the past, about what happened. We got to become better and understand that we have we got to look at the opportunities that we do have versus what we don't have. And people, people like to use that as an excuse for why they're not where they want to be. And I'm here to say that's fucking bullshit, bro. That's bullshit. I'm a victim. Like, we really got to get out of this victim mindset because here's the thing. I'm telling y'all what the other races think about us and they laugh behind the scenes. They ain't going to tell you that, though. But if, if someone's got to tell the uncomfortable truth, I, it ain't going to be white people. I'll tell y'all right fucking now. White people in the background, they laughing. Yo, these fucking black guys, man. All about these black people, all they do is cry and complain. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, they're buying more Jordans. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, they're buying more designer. Ha, 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 ha. Like they're laughing at you niggas, bro. Because they look at it like, yo, um, these fucking guys, all they do is cry and complain about their situation and they don't necessarily want to be better, blah, blah, blah. And they just laugh about it. They just, they'll never say it out in public, of course, because they don't want to be called rape, racist or bigots or whatever. But I'll call it out because, yo, too many people have a victim fucking mindset. I'm saying what a lot of people wish they could say, but they can't because they're not colored. So they can't say this shit. You can't talk about black community situations because you ain't black. Um, okay, if I'm not a mathematician, I can't say one plus one is two? No. We got to operate in objective reality here and pull our fucking feelings out of it. A lot of people are living in poverty that happen to be colored because of their own fucking choices. Not because of the color of their skin or where they grew up socioeconomically or anything else like that. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all niggas. I dealt with all the same shit you did. And I'm not going to sit here and cry about, oh, systematic oppression, oh, this other fuck shit. Stop being a fucking pussy, man. That's what it comes down to because I've suffered the same shit you guys have and I chose not to. Matter of fact, I could I have even more excuses because not only did I get it for being black, I also got it for being Muslim. I also got it for speaking Arabic. I also got it because the way I look. So I was being made fun of, being called a fucking terrorist on one end and then also being called a fucking black guy on the other end and being made fun of for being both. So I don't want to hear no fucking excuses. Okay? Because if the KKK comes after me, they get like a double kill. Triple kill. <laughs> Y'all niggas over here crying. Oh my God, oh, this is fucked up. You're not even black. Shut the fuck up. Because the same people that oppress us, the police, the white people, the man, they look at me as black too. The difference between me and you is that I don't use that as a fucking excuse for why I'm not where I want to fucking be. I use that shit as motivation. A lot of you motherfuckers, just quite frankly, you don't got heart, man. You don't got fucking heart. You're a fucking bitch. You're a pussy. You want to cry about your situation. You're out here fucking living on food stamps. Got Section 8 housing and all this other shit. Why you got to improve? I'm just chilling. Oh, man, yeah, I'm doing. Fuck out of here, bro. Stop crying. I went through the same shit and I made something to myself. I grew up in a poor household with foreign parents that didn't even fucking speak English. Making $8 an hour. My fucking dad getting robbed by people uh, being a cabbie in New York City. I don't want to hear no fucking excuses. None. That's all you motherfuckers do is cry, bro. That's all they do on fucking Twitter. Well, I'm really black because my parents were here in 1945 and they know Martin Luther King. Shut the fuck up. That's why foreigners come to this country and laugh at you niggas, bro. Real talk. 
Chinese people come to this fucking country. You know what they do? They open up a fucking Chinese food spot in the hood. The yep, Indian people, yep. they go open up a convenience store in, in the, the hood. hood. The Arabs, they come into the United States. They go put a fucking liquor store in the hood and them niggas can't even drink. They laughing at you, Beauty stupid shops. fucks. Because you guys come into the store. Oh, hey, son, let me get a let me get a pack of Hennessy. Uh, yo, I only got 20 on me right now, bro. I know it's 50, but yo, do a hookah brother up. No, come, come back again with the money. Come they back. laugh at you niggas because you guys were born here with the opportunity and they're making a killing off you stupid fucks because you guys speak English born here raised here US citizenship and you're still a fucking loser going into a foreign nigga store buying the fucking alcohol crying and complaining about why you're not where you want to be but you're drunk all the time off a of fucking Hennessy that's the truth in the black community that's the fucking truth you choose to be a fucking loser Okay, and I don't want to hear nothing because if I get pulled over by the police versus you get pulled over by the police The only difference is that I'm not gonna be a fucking retard. I know how to move I'm gonna tell him how you doing officer. I'm gonna keep my fucking hands on the steering wheel I'm not gonna call him a fucking dirty pig and sell this other stupid shit I'm gonna walk off with no ticket your dumb ass is gonna get in trouble because you want to sit there argue with the police and say Defund the police fuck the police fuck the police. Yeah, 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 yeah You create your reality based off of how you fucking behave based off of how you act Okay, so stop fucking crying about the situation. Yes, does police uh, brutality exist? Yes. Are the police biased towards black people? Yes. What are you going to do about it? Are you going to add fuel to the fire and act like a fucking dumbass, pull out your phone and say, oh, you fucking racist pig. Da, 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 da. They're human beings too. And if they can fuck you over for you acting like an idiot, they fucking will. All right. It's your choice to operate in reality. Don't be a fucking idiot. Don't commit crimes. Don't put yourself in precarious situations. Don't fucking do stupid shit. Don't do drugs. Don't drive drunk. But guess what? That takes what? Accountability. No one wants to be fucking accountable anymore. Say word. It's amazing to me how many of you motherfuckers are fucking soft, bro. Fucking soft. Fat. Triple chin. Looking like shit. Fucking doing drugs all the time. Drinking alcohol. Not going to school, not fucking getting a job, and you wonder why you're a fucking loser. Why the police look at you crazy? Because you're not worthy of being fucking respected. And then your dumbass has the audacity. You fucking pig! Fuck you! What the fuck do you think's gonna happen? You're disrespecting him. Just because he has a uniform doesn't mean he's not human. And if he can't fuck your life up, he will. And that's what ends up happening, because you niggas want to talk. I get it. We have a chip on our shoulder because we're black. Act correct. The world isn't fair, man. The world isn't fair, I'm telling you, I've been, I've been profiled too. I just choose not to let it affect my reality. I operate in reality. I understand that I need to be respectful to the police because they're the authority. Damn, man, people fucking cry all the time, bro. We play skin color, it's fucked up. We're the only race of people that fucking cry all the time, bro. I don't see Indian people crying. I don't see fucking Chinese people crying. I don't see Hispanics crying. They fucking come here and work. They don't fucking cry about their situations. Even Africans that are black just like you that suffer the same bullshit, the same fucking racial prejudice, they fucking work. It don't matter if your name is fucking uh, John Jones versus fucking uh, Dikembe Mutombo. When they pull you over, all they see is black skin. So stop trying to fucking separate this shit. You're a loser because you're a fucking loser. Has nothing to do with, you know, oh, just, are you some some heron or whatever else? Like on fucking Twitter, you guys are out here saying some stupid shit. Oh, well, you're Dominican, so you're not really black, blah, blah, blah. Get the fuck out of here, bro. If he's dark skinned and he's fucking Dominican, it don't matter. They're going to consider him black too. Damn, man. Just accept the fact that you're a fucking pussy and you're a loser and keep making excuses for yourself. But don't sit here and try to say, oh, my God, it's the man. He's holding me down. Fuck out of here, man. Is the caller still on the phone? Yeah, but listen, though. What, what y'all not understanding is, see, y'all looking at the situation from, you know, from a foreigner mindset. You know what I'm saying? Because with black people, from a foreigner not, mindset, they're not opportunities. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you so, said from, from a no, foreigner. No, I'm not saying. Yo, and because see, hey, you do realize that well, just a second ago, like five minutes, not even like three minutes ago, I said that I was born in the United States and I went through all the same exact fucking issues that a lot of African American men deal with in the United States. Because I was racially profiled plenty of times too. The difference is I just chose not to cry about it. I mean, I understand that. But a lot of black people, you know, they they get discriminated. They get denied opportunities because they have to go through discrimination through housing, jobs. A lot, of, you know, these these situations is real. You same know? thing it's here, bro. Same thing here. Yo, 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 caller. I went through the same shit. Caller, uh -huh. what is, what's the question here, bro? Because bringing up race, bro, I mean, bro, we're past this, bro. Just, what, what's, what's the next topic, bro? Because this is going nowhere. What's the next topic? No, no, I'm just saying that I disagree with that. You know, I mean, I understand what, what y'all saying that we got to figure out how to overcome this. 
Yeah. But, you so know, what's the problem? The, the racism is real. You know what I'm saying? We never said it doesn't, doesn't exist, though. That's what I'm trying to tell Bro. you. That I want to make this extreme. Okay. Let me make this fucking clear for everybody. I never said racism doesn't exist. I said it's either you're going to be a victim of the racism or you're going to become a somebody through the racism. I choose to become a somebody. I'm not going to let it change my mindset and make me think like, oh, my God, I have a disadvantage. Okay. Not, not respect it. I understand That's that. That's what I said earlier. So I never said racism doesn't exist. It's your choice how you're going to adapt. You can either adapt and overcome or you can cry and say, oh, my God, it's fucked up. The man's holding me down. Cool. Yeah. Because I went through the same I, shit I, too, I bro. You, coming from with that. you can't say a foreigner's mindset when I was born in the United States and I went through the same bullshit, man. Now, the reason why I said the foreigner mindset because a lot of immigrants come here. It's like they they look at the African-Americans like they lazy and all that. And that's not really the truth. That's the truth, though. You know? They do come in here and think that they're lazy. That's why they open up their stores in African American communities and laugh nah, at them. Nah, nah, it's not that they're lazy. It's because I never said that. I they said they think have... that. I never said that. I said they think that. The immigrants do think that. That's true. Yeah, and that's that's the and that's not really the case. It's, I, just, it's fucked up, bro. But that's the way it is. You know, a, it's fucked up. Yeah, but, that, a, but that's the way it is. A lot of the, you know, the black folks, they don't know how to overcome it. You know, they don't know how to navigate around the racism. So they can get ahead because, you know, whose fault is that? Whose fault is it? Stop, stop, stop. Whose fault is it that they can't navigate the racism? I mean, who who is it? No, whose fault fault is it that they can't navigate the racism? You can't put the 100% blame because they don't know how to get around it, you know? Whose fault is that? Like, it's just. I mean, I mean, you're right, though. They got to, they got to figure out how to get around it. You're right. You're right. Thank you. That's that's why I have no fucking. Uh, that's why I have no sympathy. They gotta get around it, bro. Oh. If people could come into this country, and not even fucking speak the language, and figure it out, and make a mess, open up a business, and make a bunch of money, we can too. Yeah. All right, caller. Yeah, I, I see what you're saying with that. All right, caller. All right, all right, Thank caller. You.